2024. Does anybody have any changes, corrections, or comments? Make a motion to accept. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I was saying to those there. All right. Thank you, Jim. All right, so the purpose of the meeting tonight is to go over any changes or corrections that you see need to be made to the current draft that you've all seen. Um, also, just to make sure that the edits that we've already made were incorporated correctly. Um, and then once we've completed that process, we'll take a vote on whether or not you as a group are comfortable passing this document on to the town board. Um, if you are, then any corrections you make today will send back to the consultants to be incorporated. And then I'll just email it out so you can sign off on it one last time. And then we'll send that draft to the board. When it goes to the board, it will also go out to the public at large. And then um, we will start reviewing it at the town board level. So that'll be kind of the best plan for this evening. That Amber laid out in the report. Yes. yes. And so um, once the town board pretty much goes through chapter by chapter, then um, we'll start a public hearing process at the town board level. There'll probably be multiple public hearings um, and it'll go from there. So the number of public hearings is going to be flexible depending on the public input. All right, so we did receive comments from John and uh, Joanne written comments and it was good because a lot of them, there were some similar mm -hmm. similar things that you guys recognize, which are you know, easily solved. Um, who should we start with? First. I have a major change to maybe make. I just want to throw it out there. Mm -hmm. Since the environment is something that we feel and hold dear is the most important part, it really should be chapter two and not chapter seven. And I just, uh, or chapter three, make it chapter three. I know it means a major revision as far as editing and the chapter as a bulk and just go there. But if we're putting that out as our standard that we're trying to achieve and maintain on the island and everything refers back to the environment, I'm just promoting it to slot number three as opposed to slot number seven. So do you read the chapters as somehow kind of hierarchically organized in terms of importance? Right, because I feel that if you're if you're public reading this and you want to see what's going, what's this based on. So many things go back to that. We're basing all of our decisions on either what's going to happen, what we think is happening, what's based on what's here environmentally. I'm just thinking that. So be... you would, and by environment, you mean chapter seven? Chapter seven. Natural resources and water quality. If you move to chapter three's position and move chapter three just down to four, I don't know, whatever else you want to do. Well, it, it, so chapter three is the existing built environment. So that's right. like existing conditions. And zoning. So, and zoning. So we could go to number four then, but I'm just saying it, it should be moved up as far as you can vote and say no, and that's fine. I just, it's just a feeling I had after reading it several times through. But I was just on, on the other side of that, it could be that it's nice to have sort of like the background, like the build up to mm -hmm. the issue and then bring that forward. I think that's why it's probably only at seven as opposed to being higher up. Right. I mean, that's yeah, because housing kind of explains like what's going on. The economy ex explain, you know, is setting conditions and stuff. Yeah, I think when it was originally organized, it felt like the existing built environment with the land use and zoning background gave you existing conditions. And then it goes into how that's changed recently. So how the housing has changed, how the economy's changed, how transportation's changed, and then the natural resources kind of fed into um, you know, how are these changes impacting the demand on the natural resources and what are those limitations? Um, I can kind of see John's point. Yeah. Um, just to add to that is it does kind of set the pretext and leading into that other stuff. This is our environment and the housing, everything is based off of that of the other way around. Um, I don't really have any strong feelings either way, but I, I could see an argument for for both. It's kind of there's a good flow to it now, but yeah, kind of adding that environment. He, he kind of 
leading into our existing conditions. So like, this is what we're working with. Right. Um, since so much of the yeah. zoning, the housing, everything else does. Um, it is a precursor to housing, back. economy. All kind of sets the tone on right? Yeah. But, but this, I'm fine either way. I mean, but the same token, natural resources and water quality then leads into parks, open space, and waterways. You know, they're kind of connected. Right so I, yeah, I think they've got the right flow. I, I understand like what you're saying, but um, from a human perspective, people first think of their housing, what they can build, what they can't, the zoning issues, the economy issues, transportation, maybe on them, but, but I, you have this kind of human element and then you have a kind of caveat, but we have this environment here and we have to be safeguarding it before. So, yeah, I, I could go either way too, but I, I, I think they've constructed this pretty thoughtfully. I wonder if there's parallels in other plans where they put the environment. Yeah, I mean, I have to look back at South Hold and some of the other plans we looked at to see how they organized it, but it just kind of, um, you know, I think. I guess my, my feeling would be if we change the words, could that weaken existing, like, like the way it is right now, it builds you up to understanding what the issues are and what you need to have saved and not saved. And whereas if you do go, if you go a different way, it could make it weaker. Um, that would be my only fear if we change it. Yeah. Did the introduction include a kind of rationale of structure? In other words, just kind of what Rebecca was saying. In other words, highlighting the importance of the environment, but also indicating why you know, the chapters are organized this way to kind of look at the human element, the kind of immediate needs of people, but always qualified by the environment. If that was somehow a paragraph in the intro, would that mm. at least alert people reading it that it wasn't an afterthought? Talk about the environment along the way. I think. It's it's a thread throughout, and I think all those demands kind of build up for the importance of why our environment um, is so fragile, you know, because we have all of these factors and stresses on it. You have to understand all of them so that when you get to the environment, you know it's fragileness and impacts and what's coming and all of that. And I think there's, you know, there's so, you know, with all of these things, there's all different perspectives and ways that you can look at it. And I think we could all sit here and argue both sides of the fence in all different ways. Um, and it's all the type of yeah, yeah. Person you are and how you, you you take a view on things. I guess you should also put yourself as the reader. Like we're so involved in this document, and it's like oh, what? <laughs> so you have to like the average person just reading this, and how, how do you want to flow and like to, to make your point? <laughs> in some ways, I yeah. I think it's helpful to have the natural resources where it is because you read all of this about your existing built environment with our land use and our zoning and our construction, our housing, our businesses and economy, the transportation, and then you get to the environment and you start learning about the different aspects of it, the different pressures on it. And then you can relate it back to what you've already read about the housing and the need for housing and how you balance that with the water that we have. And it, it sort of makes, I think it, it makes more sense this way. I mean, you can learn all the water stuff in advance, all the environmental stuff in advance, and then you go and you read through housing and, and economy and transportation. I think you and might still need to circle it, back because we still need to circle back to what impact that has on the environment. Um, can I just add, it's not, and of course, not that we have to copy everyone else. We're our own island. This is our comprehensive plan. But I quickly just looked up South Hold Towns. Um, they have natural resources lower on there. So they have it as chapter six and they start with vision, demographics, land use and zoning, transportation, infrastructure, community character, and then they get to natural resources. Um, sorry. It's worth noting that on page 13, guiding principles, the first two really do focus on mm -hmm. the environment. That's what I was yeah. gonna yeah. say. We, we, yeah. You wanna have one place to look, what is this plan about? Right. You're gonna to go to the vision and guiding principles, and I—it's right. the very first one slash two, really, that we talk about. 
talk about. Yes, I think we've done a good job with all of them. <laughs> okay, it was just a thought. Right, you know, and, and I also, and I, I, mean, I, and I, and I don't think we should, like we were just saying, don't think of this as this is how we, it's not hierarchy. It's a hierarchy. It's how you building the plan of like how to think these things out and how each thing is going to layer upon and um, work on decisions or whatever. Kind of building a knowledge base. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, did everyone get a chance to read through the comments you received from? Mm -hmm. John? I'm going to go chapter by chapter, or you want to go like person by person? We can go chapter by chapter. So, yeah, I mean, I think if we just go through it that way, that'll be easier. So, we'll start with chapter one. Um, chapter seven was John's first comment, page one. Of, uh, Oh, no, I'm sorry. You start in chapter seven. Can we start with page four? We can start with page four. Absolutely. The names of our forum members are not alphabetical. Was there a reason for that? No. Nope. Maybe they could be. They can be alphabetical. We have other things alphabetical as far as fixing names. It just seems yep. appropriate that we continue with that. Yeah, we can absolutely. I do. saw that today at all. No, good call. Yeah, it, it, for some reason it happened with both of the both for, former members. Yeah, the, um, mm -hmm. of the task force and the and also feedback. Yeah, yeah, we can fix that. All right. Anything after page four? <laughs> um, Joanne, your first comments on page sixteen. If someone has something before them. Um, your comment is just that the 2020 census was taken at an unusual time. Yeah, we, and he, they say it further down, but I think it needs to be said up front um, that it was, you know, an aberration. That was one of my comments I remember about, too. It mm -hmm. just should be sooner. We, yeah. That explanation. Yeah. Because it's I in think paragraph. We'll jump on that. Yeah, it's, remember, it's there. Okay, what are you guys it's talking paragraph about? Paragraph three right now. Yeah. Under yeah. demographics and trends. Um, but I, I think it should be up in the year round population has grown. <clears throat> oh, up in the key findings, the key findings. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think if you took the hit count now, it would be very different, very different. Yeah. And then on page 17 and then somewhere else later in the plan, household income has grown, but poverty has increased significantly. Um, the trend is evident in the school district, which has experienced um, a substantial increase in economically disadvantaged students, blah, 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 blah. And is that based on the fact that 35% are eligible for reduced? I mean, I, I feel like that is coming out of that came out of the census, actually, the poverty statistics. I just don't think they cited it well. Okay, yeah, I think I it needs it to came be, out of census. It somehow needs to be, there needs okay. to be some kind of attribution. So that's how it goes into it more on page 22 and 23 yeah. Yeah. is where they go into it in more detail. But I still don't think it really says where it comes from. Right. And again, it makes mention somewhere else in this about the school. <clears throat> Yeah, it's page 23. Um, yeah, uh, shown in the following section, the increased proportion of residents experiencing poverty blah, 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 shows a steady climb in number of pre-K through 12 students in economic disadvantage and shelter. Is, does that come from the census? That comes from the New York State Public School Enrollment data. Well, then that's, I think, which is is actually said in that paragraph. New York State Public School Enrollment okay. data, which discussed below, shows the steady climb in the number of pre-K students um, at an economic disadvantage. So it's kind of cited in the text, but they need to clarify the earlier one yeah the key findings put just a clarification there mm -hmm. quickly 
Okay, I made that note. All right. Does anybody else have, or did anybody else have chapter one comments? I have a page 26. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the bridge at Bass Creek, isn't that not there any longer? Yeah, yeah that's underwater. I'm like looking for it the other day. Oh, I <laughs> do, I mean, should we switch it out with a different photo? Yeah, yeah. we should. It makes people all this will find that. Where is it? Thousand people down the Stark photo now, John. Put that down yes. there the caption. It's actually kind of an interesting photograph for the um the environmental chapter yeah. 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 it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> the underwater bridge. Right. All right, so we'll switch out that photo. I'm using an example of sea level rise or something. Right, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so into chapter three. I realize that page was chapter three. Mm. The next note I have is on page 59, but did someone have anything between page 35? Page 35. Okay. Page 31. What you have? Can we get a crisper chart? Yeah. Yeah, this was low res, I think. Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> My question on 35 was based on the map. It shows a line. I think you're trying to predict the airfield, and the airfield is not there. The airfield is south of that, between Congan Road and Burns. They show it north of Burns. So maybe that line is just a scratch mark, but we can either erase it or... It's Do you mean the green right. rectangle? No, I'm talking about uh, figure three zoning district. Yeah, in there. Oh, that line. Just as oh. the mean airport, it's in the wrong spot. And if it was just a mistake, let's erase it. I think it's a mistake, but I'll let them know. Page 33. Uh, sorry. Sorry, we're done now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Figure two. Mm -hmm. So with Sylvester Manor, it's inconsistent with figure four. I'm printing out the black and white version, but I know there's different colors. Um, and it kind of goes back to, is Sylvester Manor conserved open space or not? I know that's kind of brought up time and time again. Right. Um, I know they do have plans for development to some degree. Mm -hmm. um, but can you really lump that in with some of the other places that are also conserved space? Right. Um, I know that's kind of a pretty it's, Again, it's a nonprofit. Their mission is to preserve right. it. Um, it was also hard to get the right information for the portions of the map for them. Um, so either way, figure two and figure four yeah, are, right? are a little different. Yeah. You know. And didn't the town recently just purchase land along 114 there too, or there was it? <clears throat> they took the development. Took the development. Right. Oh, okay, so that wouldn't show the classification wouldn't change; it'd still be preserved. It would be like yeah, it would still be preserved. Okay, it wouldn't have subdivision possibilities. So does it? I think if it's preserved land, can they not build on it? Depends on if it's agricultural. Like, you know, you could build a barn if you're doing so I'm thinking preserved open space, there's no development rights. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong in that. I thought there was no development rights. Well, it, yeah, depends, you... it depends on which, so one chart is existing land use, and then the other one is development potential analysis. So the open space parks conservation area, Just those are the areas that open are space at this point. open space. Right. And then all the soft green is kind of other with subdivision potential because that's technically not preserved space. It's confusing. Yes. 
also well, the investor manager is confusing. That will also be confused. Absolutely. Um, Maybe you just need a different title for your greens. Two charts. Well, so if you notice the ones that are other with subdivision potential, they're Gardner's Bay Country Club, Sylvester Manor, and Camp Quinnipiac. Oh, so they have mission statements that say one thing, but legally their deeds are open for other things should they sell in the future that's what or should asking. something happen. So that's why they're classified that way. Um, so it's not really open space. It's you're okay. right, right. The, the, the parks that have conservation easements or where the development rights were purchased are in the dark green for open space conservation, but the parts that are in the lighter green are not necessarily protected in that fashion. So it's current. Yeah, we tried right. to get it as open space as possible. No, what I mean is that the dark green on the existing land use is current open space. Yes. That includes some that are yes. absolutely preserved for yes. ongoing, but others that aren't. Right, because it's how it's being used now. Just like... Um, or is that mixed use? No, because mixed so, use yeah. is more like in, in commercial or industrial yeah, or... Going on there. Got a lot going on there, but... Um, Either way, I think we yeah. just need to be consistent with how we're labeling that stuff and be clear. Right. So everyone yeah, it's understands. very confusing because it's yeah. completely opposite. Someone's going to flip there and it's just going to draw a lot of. Well, and because they use there. different um, colors, but they're still green. They just don't green. Green. them. Correct. It's just <laughs> someone's going to flip and it's just going to yeah. draw a lot of public right. comment later on. So right. we need so to we'll figure that up somehow. Clean this up. Also on figure three about zoning, Chase Creek is not blue. Not that it's a big deal, but all the other creeks are blue. It'd be nice if it was blue too. <laughs> but it's it's brown. Brown. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they picked up like Battle Ice Pond. I think that's what you're seeing. Yeah. The blue at the end is ice pond. Is ice pond. <laughs> because like Manana Creek and I'm at, I'm at Gardner's, right? Gardner's. Which one are you on, John? Which one? Figure three. Figure three. Figure three. On the zoning map. I think it's the right color. Yeah, Gardner's is not colored in. Yeah, Gardner's Creek is. Yeah, smaller. Yeah. That's what needs to be blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And a smoke. Are you looking at figure two or four? Three. Three. Ah, that is my zoning, confusion. Zoning districts. Zoning districts. Okay, figure three. Oh yeah, you're. Yep. Make this blue. Okay. Yeah. By blue, you mean water blue, water not the B one blue, 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 right? Water blue. Instead of the same thing. Sure. Double A yellow. Okay. So, um, how should we label Sylvester Manor? I, we based that off of the information that they gave us. So maybe we just make the greens consistent on both maps. They stand for the same thing. It won't be so confusing when you flip the page and it's totally opposite. That makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's easy. I'll try to get consistent greens going map to map. One though is other with subdivision potential and the other is agriculture. Mm -hmm. So those aren't necessarily the same thing. No, they're not. I mean, it, you just kind of have to read the key. You'll work to figure that out. Let's, we can do a consultancy. We can, yeah, yeah, we'll figure consult. that out. Let's not be yes. lost on the details. Yeah. 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 All right, moving forward. Does anyone have a comment before page 59? 42. You had 31 or 41? 41. Uh, the adopt a tree preservation law just looked a little out of place. Uh, 
said that a couple times. It's put in seven nine B here. Yeah. It's also put in the housing section later on. It's in it's everywhere. How many times do we have that in here? This is seven because that's the environment chapter. Maybe because you can't pull the trees down when you build a house. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. It was just a note. Just uh, Right, because it is in here twice. Here. It's on 4-4 four, four, and then mm -hmm. some of them do um, come back. Seven, nine. Because, it, yeah, in Chapter 4, it's relating to how uh, the tree preservation all the development of and yeah. then, yeah. I, I just pulled this out of my book. I think it's the next thing on Green Street, not yeah. Sunset. I think you got the one, right? Yeah, I had a question about that. Yeah, that's today. just, I had I had that fixed for Floyd Bridge Street. Dave Don, is that a person? A photographer? That's no, that's, where is that cited? It's right on the picture, a little yellow box right on the picture. Oh, yeah, that's just, that's a comment. That's a note to change it from Sunset Beach to Bridge Street. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the housing section, I don't know where it went, but at one point we had numbers for the number of rentals we had in like 1980-ish to current, and we were like, we were 70, 80, we went short, but I don't know where that data went. Okay. From 1980 forward, you said? Mm -hmm. Just a correct because that's when I graduated. And just to see where we were and the school enrollment where we are now. Yeah, I'll check and see if it somehow just got dropped when they did the. Is that a graph, Jay? Or... Yeah, it was in a chart with a whole bunch of other. I'm just always surprised that I didn't see it back here on the ground. Okay. Yeah, we just have the last two um, decades. Because even that, looking at the 2010 renter occupied or owner occupied, mm -hmm. really, I mean, do we really think it's going up? The number of rental units? I think it was a COVID glitch. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. people. I mean, because that's how, that's how many homes were rented that year. You know, it's not necessarily a, like affordable rental units. It's just people who are living in homes that they don't know. Not, not seasonal rentals. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's a glitch for year round rentals that year because of COVID. You know, it's it's that it goes back to the census being in school uh, year. Yeah. Should we use the data? Or should we footnote it? Yeah, we Almost put, everything from 2020 21 is could be skewed. Just one big footnote. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's worth repeating, I think. Mm -hmm. It's just how soon we forget, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. we want to forget those period, that period of time. Well, it's going to make you think, oh, maybe we're fine for it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's very misleading. Yeah. So we'll footnote census. Footnote. Do we know if the American Community but, but it does say, it, 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 been if you read in the, you know, it's yeah, see. the text, you have to read in the text to understand it, it keeps saying, again, the reduction is likely or something, you know, due to the pandemic or. By 2020, the percent, the percent of vacant homes had fallen to 46%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It's like a phony number. But it's the numbers that you have. So you want to put the numbers in there, but you have to kind of signal that you have to explain it. Not please. Yeah. yeah. I think you could almost make an adjustment for that I mean, it, it, I mean, that year, it kind of is what it is. So it might have been high that year, but then just like the school census, it was high that year, and then it consecutively dropped off. Um, we won't know until the future happens. But I think to your point, it, it, if you just look at it, just look at the chart, it does, it could be very misleading as mm -hmm. far as 
the um, potential for, quote, you know, year-round rental housing. You could just do an asterisk yeah. pandemic year. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that, we'll add that underneath the all the census information. Sorry. Okay. Um, anything? The next one I have is for page 59. Um, yeah, and for housing, I also, out of order, um, we spent a lot of time debating affordable versus attainable, and we seem to have totally lost the term attainable. Okay. So, I don't know how people feel about that. Um, it should be consistent. But, you know, we did like it. I think we agreed to use that, and it just, it just somehow got jumbled. So change affordable to attainable. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go around and make sure that it's switched out uh -huh. everywhere. And then 59, um, I mean, we've heard a lot about from the public about the protecting the near store overlay district. And I think we've certainly made un incorporated many, if not all of the comments in here, but these past few weeks with the rain and the hurricanes and the, 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 you know, everything that's happened and you drive around the island and you see the flooding. Um, and I'm just, is there anything that we haven't covered that could, or haven't recommended that could protect that area more? Because it seems like climate change is happening even faster than anybody thought it was going to happen, would occur. Just kind of, an, you know, to John's point of the environment moving up on the table of contents. That was sort of my overall feeling as I read through this, that are we doing enough? <laughs> and if not, what else? So you remember though, most of the roads and everything, that infrastructure that went in was never never engineered. It was mm -hmm. never designed. So, you know, we have roads and I have new homes, I have new driveways, you know, less wood. So we were never engineered for any type of storm. Right. Right. Well, and the town's currently working on raising the roadways to places like Graham Island, which even just in a high king tide will mm -hmm. wash over. So there are areas of the island that we're actively engineering raising the road so that people don't lose access to. Um, so that's kind of an infrastructure issue. I mean, as far as stopping the rising tide, that's not going to no, happen. Gonna happen. People have to start building smarter and not in the floodplain. You know, there's I mean, some of that's just people need to make decisions about how they're going And there's to nothing place. that can be done as far as zoning code is concerned. It's got to raise the road. What? You just have to raise the road. I think it also has to do with runoff too on existing mm -hmm. roads and or even how you raise a road if you're going to have catch basins or water. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll just raise it and we think don't worry about it. Well, for the title, no, it's, it's raised. For, for like, title, for, I'm, I'm talking about inland. For that Road. And some of those right. catch holes there, you know, and storm Yeah. Well, and then you're also going to have the same thing that you had in 2010 when all the kettle holes filled because we had so much substantial rain. Just right we're now. sort of close we're to that right now. Yeah. You know, we're a couple inches off from the numbers in 2010. Mm -hmm. And so that that's going to be a problem that we're not going to be able to combat. And we had 65 homes underwater with basements full at mm -hmm. that time in 2010. So that's mm -hmm. all impacted a large number yeah. of people. My wife has water in her basement right now, just yeah. because the kettle is. Me too, I don't think. So. Saying, yeah. John's sitting, I'm sure you're sitting in water. 100 gallons an hour. Go on. It's keeping the boat, I'm bailing the boat, it's all I feel. Every morning, I can see it. Uh, uh, but on that, a lot of that water, though, is runoff. I mean, from the center here, running down 114. 114 has been engineered to be a sluice way now. So it catches all the water from here and then just runs it right down to my house. Well, not. Thank you. Much a little pond and then, you know, right. crosses and the road over and then Al Alfred gets a whole bunch of it. So we just need to work on our thing. Yeah, but that's the state. I mean, you can't get the state right. to do anything at all. Yeah. So I don't even know when the last time we cleaned storm drains. We got them to clean one recently. We got them one. So we're working yeah, on John, it. You probably have about 10 on the way down to you. Right. I, I, I walk up and down, but most of them are full. Yeah, well. Hmm. I think state that. Do the work and sign up there. Also, education. Okay. Look at the red slot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so on 40, page 49? Yep. 
So consider tailoring zoning approach to support the best amount of long term as it needs. That was taken out. Page 49. Okay. Yeah, that was completely eliminated. Um, the next comment I have is transportation and chapter seven. So did anyone have comments in chapter five? Transportation. Um, economy. And then if not, then chapter six is transportation. Bicycles and walking are popular, not is popular. Let's see. Oh, bicycles and walking are popular, got it. I can believe that got passed to proofreaders. I know. <laughs> um, We're currently working on the bike lanes and the speed limit. Great. So um, the bike lane for the, for the state, I, I believe those are state. Yeah, they're state. And the state's already said, given us a hard no, we're not gonna come in and do like official bike lanes for you. But what we're trying to do is get them to just widen the shoulders so that there's more paved shoulder for people to, to ride on. Um, because they won't give us full bike lanes that requires buying easements and moving infrastructure like the electrical poles and everything, but wherever they can widen it, we're asking them to widen it. And that they're more agreeable to so. That's what we're working on. And then the other one that I saw. Uh, transportation, I guess, was with funding. Can you talk about, talk about repaving, I guess, in there. Mm -hmm. Road maintenance. Yeah, so during the in the budget numbers, they talk about uh, the budget funding, but they don't mention grant money. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do the, the paving. We right without the chips. No, not chips. Oh, not. So we've been getting money from uh, the New York State um, and through the assembly. So that would be page eighty one. Yeah. Are we still paying that money for paving? No, we've just about exhausted everything we've gotten. That's so what I thought. Ken's working on reaching out and okay. building building bridges with the people who might be able to. Yeah, you have to go. You got to knock on the doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I thought that we hadn't gotten that in a while. No. Um, all right, anything else in the transportation chapter? 83. 83, yep. Talking about raising the ramps on the Greenport side, North Ferry, they now, I think we said it raised, they've raised one, they've actually finished two now. We're finished so, two now. So just change that, forget exactly what on 83, what paragraph is in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the ferry has raised yeah, one of the landing areas in okay. Greenport, so we'll oh. say two. Mm -hmm. um, all right, good catch. And 84, mm -hmm. um, under public transportation, first sentence, while there is no public or private sector bus or rail, do we really need to put rail down? It's kind of like, I mean, okay. I mean, it's a no-brainer for us, but people who don't know, maybe don't. I, know. <laughs> I can just see that now. You don't want a tiny train? Shelter Island, per se. 
Is there something else that we could put there that would be a nice picture? We can find something. Just to, you know. It's a view from Shelter Island. I understand. <laughs> we'll switch out photo for yeah, like more. It's like we're looking forward and, you know, and we'll have these people asking us questions. Where is this high? We skipped your chap your comment in chapter seven about the existing potential sewer districts. Seven or we're still, no, we're still six. Six. sorry. Yeah. I've got both of the pages open, so I'm waiting until okay. so we get to 103. <laughs> All right. Um, to your point about the runoff, goal six dash six has a whole set of possible things that, right. you know, that but, could be done to deal with that. Right. And there was a word that was missing there. That was my original mentioned that and when I made my comments before, but it oh, we're frozen. Hold on, please. Okay. What, what page was that? Uh, 89. 89. We're just so riveting that the computer is All right, let's go. Okay, that's good. Oh, this photo needs titles. And photographer. It, it, when I had a, there was a picture of a wood duck, and it didn't say that it was a wood duck. It would be nice if we said wood duck. Okay. Rather than just. These yeah. photos were sticking with all of these. We can switch them out if you've better photos. If. You want to? I love Jim, them. and I know we were strapped no, just to yes. write photos in yeah. there. No, I think it would be a really nice diversity. Yeah. Yeah. Adam Bundy yeah. has great photos. Yeah, there should be more local yeah. artists in there. Yeah, it should be labeled. I'm not married to any just a picture of a pretty bird. We mm -hmm. really should label mm -hmm. what species it is. So, it's, mm -hmm. you know, otherwise we look really. Did anyone kind of go through all the photos to see if there was any missing areas or missing phenomenon? <laughs> yeah. Um, just to get photos, right? Right. Pretty much. I mean, it, you know, there is a couple that I want to switch out for other people's photos, and there were a couple that I sent them here, put this in instead. So some of these photos will change. I think we talked about it one time, maybe doing like a submit your photo contest or something yeah. along with that. I thought we did that. We did. We did. Oh, okay. Well, it'd just be interesting. If, I'm not sure how to to um should we turn it off and on again? We're gonna have to yeah shut it down because it's the it's still recording and it's still live. You can also use Don. Pictures. Pictures. So, you make an announcement that we have to shut down. And We're going to shut down and then restart it because it's frozen, or at least the screen is. I don't know if the audio is, but if you can hear us, we're going to turn it off and on again. Maybe I can fix the camera. One question I had about the photos, and this may be something that you talked about early on, and I wasn't wasn't sitting here with you all. Um, did we get permission from the people who we have pictures of? I was thinking like the pharmacies one and North Ferry and Sylvester Manor. Do like do we check with them to make sure? And like the photos was, that have people in them? Well, not even have people like houses. There's one of a house in um, uh, Daring Harbor, and I thought. Not right, half the people. If you can just apologize for the view. Um, I apologize for the view. One of our cameras is acting up, so we're just going to use our, our backup camera. But you should have audio and visual now of some kind. I'm just waiting to see if more people are logging in. Mm -hmm. Do you have people waiting in the queue, Coco? No, it's Amber. Okay. It's just Amber. Just me. All right. Sorry about that. That's okay. All right. So, um, anything in else in chapter six before we go into natural resources chapter seven? You know, there's a photo in between that doesn't have a, a right. title, so I'll fix that. Um, and then chapter seven, I have uh, notes. Uh, 
the notes I have start on page 103. So if someone has something before page 103, let me know. On page 103. Wait, are, are we done with uh, the issue of uh, the pictures that we're going to post in the uh, comprehensive plan? Yeah, we we're just saying we're looking them over and we're going to make sure that there's more diversity in, in photos from people. And that they're labeled. That's and that the they're labeled that's, well. That's the point that we're going to cut off. That. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we'll. I, yeah, I was, I was being facetious. Oh, okay, great. We can mute him. Thank you. Who was talking? Kim Bonson. Um, all right. So getting back to chapter seven, um, on page 103. John, you had a note under the existing slash potential sewer districts um, that there we didn't put an explanation as to why the school pulled out of the project. Right. Um, you know, because the school didn't give a statement on why they changed their mind, I figured it was speculation, so we shouldn't speculate on what their intentions were. Even, so, but, we just said they chose to solve the problem themselves. Yeah. Or they went with an AI system. I mean, we'd say anything like that. I mean, we were probably part of the holdup, weren't we? Yeah, we just, you know, we we said that they were part of the original it's plan. Like happened because it makes it sound like we didn't do anything. Was it still a problem? You know, someone reading this cursory wasn't. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we could say that they pulled out of the project and installed their own still right. reducing right. septic system. There you go. Okay, that makes sense. The next comment was on page 105. Yeah. Or, yeah. So continue to implement the shelter island ground and surface man uh, water management plan. So in that plan, it specifically says that we're going to continue the development of the wastewater treatment plant. So how do we acknowledge the shift away from the treatment plant as the only option while still supporting the groundwater service management. Um, yeah, it's the recommendation for some form of centralized wastewater treatment for the center of town. I've spent a very long time debating it and we've kind of moved away from that predestined language. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's a good thing. There's a lot of great things in the surface water management plan, but when you say continue to implement that, there's a lot of concern in the public that, I mean, it's, it's, old, it's old at this point. Right. So definitely don't want to say it's useless. It's definitely not. It's very valuable. Yeah, that's, that's just but, the one aspect of it that right. is going to have to. How do we acknowledge that we're going to continue with that while updating, you know, the kind of new information? Continue to implement relevant portions of portions. It? Well, I mean, then goal 7-2 kind of addresses that specific issue about wastewater versus um, water supply infrastructure but to Sean's, like, Sean's point yeah it sounds like you're taking the shelf the ground and surface water management plan whole hog right right um oh, really? recognizing that there's been new information it wasn't 2020 i mean things have changed since I believe that's when it was published yeah it was mm -hmm. 2020. maybe we include a recommendation to update periodically yeah. update those. We've done that privately with them, but, yeah. but it, I you know that's not in here. Right. Would you say continue to monitor? Um, yes. I, I feel like there was a recommendation to update the ground surface water management, okay. and I'm just looking to see if it's in here. Mm -hmm. Should we say continue to update and implement the Shelter Island Ground and Surface Water Management Plan? Yeah. 
You should have yeah. a great number of years for review. Yeah. Every mm -hmm. single year should be reviewed. Then implement Every... and revise. Yeah. Or revise and implement. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, revise. I mean, yeah, there is something in here. And implement the shelter on grounds or this water should management plan. Every, every, every three years. Every three years, Sean. Five years. Three years, five years. For a while. Do it three years, five years? What do you to do think? revisions? I don't remember off the top of my head. Does that document say inside of it how often it's going to be done? No, I don't believe it does. But I mean, five years is probably a more realistic time frame. Five is more realistic. I mean, yeah. I think it was a pretty heavy burden to assemble all that. And some of it's just a matter of going through and saying, yes, we accomplished this, or no, mm -hmm. this is a work in progress, or this is something that the town has chosen not to pursue, and just updating the chart of action items. Yeah. So, okay. What about Joanne's idea of just putting the word relevant points of the plan, something like that? Oh, so it does have an annual review. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, it's an ongoing planning process that's envisioned, including an annual review of the ground and surface water management plan, key outcomes and recommendations. So by, who? by the water advisory committee, because they're the ones who developed the document. And they report back to the board. board. We'll have to make sure we follow through with that. Mm -hmm. In lieu of following through, which things happen, uh, the word relevant, follow the relevant issues or points, or some language like that needs to be in this to to know yeah. the difference of they don't, they don't they're not mirror images of each other obviously right. we have differences well and relevancy will depend on on the board and what the needs are at the time i'm just gonna jump in just to say one thing within our way we structure this so like Right now, this is goal 7.1. The first thing under it, we always refer to this like as A. In another section, we have A, B, C. But we don't have A, B, C under these things. We just, we go back, we somehow, have, you have to go and you have to like go A, B, C. We're very familiar with this plan. Right. The, the, the common person reading it is yes. the implementation numbers and letters are supposed to correspond to. We, we need yeah. those letters up here. Yeah. Because when you go flipping and right. it's very confusing. A what? You know, right. Okay. So that has to. Yeah. So like it should be goal 7 2A, mm -hmm. B, and then 7 yes. 3A, and then B. So mm -hmm. that's, yes. So, so when you go back here to chapter 11 and you want to look up something, you can go back and you can yeah. find it. Otherwise, yeah. Put that note on the cover. So if I make the, the change that we continue to revise and implement the relative aspects, um, relevant, sorry, aspects of the shelter on the ground surface water management plan every five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, page 105. Yeah. Under goal 72. 72. Old paragraph, export farming with shelter on ice property owners. I thought we proposed that with the Heights property owners, and they said they didn't want to expand their septic system. It's still it's still an open it's conversation. Not a no, it's not a yes. It's being explored. It's still something that's being looked at. The door will leave open. 
um, page 106, 107, awkward heading three. Yes, yeah, they, it's split. Mm -hmm. As you make changes, it might all get taken right. care of, yeah. who knows? Just a general check those before we find print. Yep. The next one I have was on page 111. Wildlife photos need to have the species. So name that duck. Mr. Burkett. One eighteen. So moving out of that into open parks and open space. Basque Bridge shows up again. <laughs> yep. I already have a comment okay. to switch that out. <laughs> yeah, bolts are nice. Yep. Um, and this is Bridge Street from another angle. We'll look to diversify the photographs. Um, all right, so the next comment I have is on page 120, Bunker Hill. Wait, wait, wait. A chapter H, page 118, second paragraph from John. Are these yeah, figures? Oh, accurate. For the CPF numbers? Right. I, I thought we changed the percentage. Wasn't the percentage changed of how much and the level of when you pay at what sale price? The percentage is still the same, but you're right. There's a different a break point. Right. So I'll check that. Yeah, with the last. Okay, we'll, we'll just double check. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I missed that one. 120. And so this is the um, figure 12 open space and recreation. Some of the property color codes. Right. Some questions about. Yeah, back to this color code thing. I just don't know how accurate they all are. And the ones I. The one that stuck out to me is the, I call it the Becker Weber property on Nordstrom Parkway. I mean, is that the West Neck Preserve? Number 25. Oh. No, no. That's the corner. Yeah, the corner just got. Right, the O'Connor property. So, it, you know, the property I mentioned, it should be yellow because it's unprotected, privately owned open space. So it's on both sides of the Nordstrom? Yes. Further up? Yeah. So, and there was another one I found there. It's like that. So I don't know if this means kind of like going to look at each lot. But. These are the ones that I think CPF. Oh, no, it's not because Gardner's Bay Country Club's mm -hmm. included as open space. Did you find other ones or is it just that? That was the one that jumped out at me. I thought okay. there's one, there might be more. I, I just was. You need some different colors too. Yeah, it's some green. Just like, it's, yeah, it's just a little. Yeah, and the brown like the is hard to see. Publicly owned and institutional color and these unprotected, privately owned. They're so very close. I can't tell. Alma Shamik is unprotected, privately owned. That's what we're going with in the land in front and in, in Grand Island is that way too, but some of that's preserved. So is using these colors accessible? You mean can we yeah, for some should they be more dynamic, mm -hmm. more more different? It shouldn't be shades. Instead of shades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for someone who's colorblind. Color, yeah, yeah, it's all gonna look the same. So all right, let's Okay. Switch up the colors, maybe that'll help. And then on the chart, in addition to Bunker City, right? right. Huh, um, <laughs> yeah. It should number twelve. Mildred is misspelled. Right. Mc, Mildred. Yeah. And um, number thirty-six, Ryan Horse Farm. There should be a space between Ryan and Horse. Right. Oh, yeah. 36. Yeah, it needs a space. Okay. 
Still come on. Okay. We still. No. Yeah, it's still caught. Right. So just what does PLT stand for? Conic land trust. trust. Okay. Is, is that somewhere here that I'm not just seeing? No. It? We'll do an asterisk. No. Otherwise, New York State town. Like 34 and 35, 39, they'll have commas in them. Oh, yeah, three. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 34, 35. And there's 3.2. There's 3.8. Yeah. This chart is 38, 39. There from the beginning. 3.8, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 9. And then A, B, C, D. What's missing in here is Yacht Club. I guess it would be recreation, right? Mm -hmm. space. Really nice if a map like this was a full page map or something, just yeah. so you could see it's small. Read it. This is about getting it bigger. There is a brochure that's available, the town does publish, so it's, it basically is this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll give them the brochure. And the next one, 123 on the let's see. The town landings are all Yeah, there's one that's right in the middle of the water, so that's yeah. super accurate. Is this a critical factor? I mean, it's, we do have other maps available, but this is. Yeah, I think we have a better map I can give them. I assume that the ones in the middle of the water are just are moorings, right? Well, yeah, the blue ones are moorings, moorings, but the red ones are landings. Oh, so okay. landings that don't exist that are listed. Right. Many of them. Oh, really? Like, yes, you may be able to launch a kayak from there. Right. But it's not Get a there. daring landing. And there's no parking or whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because like there's like a... The 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 or the north shore right. of the second clause by right. Right. So then you'd need a different color code to indicate whether it was just a kind of... No, I think it just, if it's not a town... Take landing, it out. Take it out. They just, I don't know I where this these, came from, but they, so they these, need to revive it. There's think, survey things in the town book. Yeah, these were the access points that were found by the um, the task force. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily town landings. Not necessarily official town landings, but I think we should access put points. Um, it's it's still waiting on Middle Harvey Road town landing. You have. Thank you. They're still accessible by foot, even though you can't like, do something by boat or anything. Right. So it's still town property. It's still right. Right. It's it's town. The property, but it's, a, it's not town landing by definition. No, but it's town property. So yeah, maybe maybe they should be anchors. I mean, we have lots of town where property. Where you use moorings, like where you could do a boat, and then the other ones would stay where I think the point is they're, they're accesses. Access. So what if we change it to public access uh -huh. instead of town landings? No, you to donate one for each. The ones that actually have land. Like a town landing, if I want to go launch a boat, I'm going to look at a map to look for a town landing. Right. Just so, like waterfront access, you're saying, like one right. footer for just recreational right. purposes. Yep. So you need three different just, symbols. Yeah, different category. Okay. Right. So if you want to go clamming or something, you don't walk out. 
you might think you're restricted, you can't go there for this town property. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see if we can get another, see if I can find a better map of it too. Property goes up to the water and then you got access to it, right? On the map? Pretty much. Yeah. So some of the cause away, we don't know. Right. Some of it is private. So if you go down to the second causeway where those two markers are, there's a road that technically cuts through both sides of that. And that's the town access. Yeah. That would be Middle Harvey Road. Something um, near the dock out there, right? All right. The next one I have is page 124. Let's stick with that dock on Middle Harvey Road. Um, um, so then page 124, add <laughs> natural depressions and kettle holes for surface water recharge under purchasing open space. I thought we had that. I brought it up before. I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, I thought we added it, it in. And I see this here, so it made me think maybe we need to stand this repeat. Has there been a time when we've actually bought one of those? No, it's not really. Why not? They disappear, people fall in all the time. Actually, yeah, well, yeah. I guess it's county owned. Like in Shorewood, there's a series of kettle holes that are owned by Suffolk County and the town jointly, not through CPF, but they are town owned properties. Probably so. West Neck and Bootlegger property there. Mm -hmm. That's probably the first water retention one you got. I know Suffolk County purchased it. There's some purchased by Suffolk County and the town, not necessarily through CPF, but. So let's see. And that would be for recharge, is kind of where that would go under, fair and said. Parcels will help protect surface and or ground water uh -huh. quality, like kettle holes. So when they buy those properties in the stewardship plan, aren't they supposed to donate and indicate what type of property it is? And isn't recharge one of them? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's one of the qualifying factors. Like they can choose to purchase a property because it has a higher recharge ability than other properties or they can buy it for open space because maybe it has unique trees or they can buy it for other environmental reasons but it's all part of the checklist that cpf goes through when they purchase a property so i'll add kettle holes to the parcels that protect surface and groundwater uh -huh. Then 129 is another bad page break. Billing arrow 126. 126. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. All right. It's under develop a local water fund for a revitalization plan. So one, two, six line down. Creating a w, uh, LWRP can allow the town to have more authority over use. Overuse. So overuse. Yeah over the use of its waterfront uh -huh. areas. Um, and also at the top of that page, under promote health and wellness, I added substance use to the end of that sentence. So it's included. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then I have the awkward heading on 129. Is there anything in between? Ann had something under here under 8.3. Maybe um, both trends national are really important. <clears throat> oh, yeah. 8.3. Mm. I think that was a quirky COVID statistic. Is that because people couldn't gather together? They all yeah, bought those. I, I mean, my <laughs> understanding was that the boat market is not exactly very robust 
mm -hmm. um, right now, especially as gas prices have continued to stay high, but it's neither here nor there. Yeah, I mean, it's we can take that out. It's kind of an arbitrary. Uh -huh. It's easily done without changing the. Okay. And at the bottom of 130, we use policies on boat lift and boat eight. Um, and we do policy for establishing of new docks that. Those headings are wonky. Yes. Yeah. We'll move them so they're on the same page. Mm -hmm. So it's you know the oh. beginning of the heading is on one page, <laughs> and then the yeah. rest of it's on the other. So that's just a formatting. Can you move thirty five is the next one that I will comment for. So we're now in chapter nine, quality of life. So government capacity is limited to need for additional resources to address short and long term planning and implementation and possibly improved enforcement and compliance. So that seems to be a huge issue. <clears throat> Um, implementation to include improved enforcement and compliance. Mm -hmm. Middle Harbay Road, town landing again. If, um, if, he's, if um, Kim speaks one more time and interrupts the meeting, um, take remove him from the oh. meeting. And then 36. The green box light bulb. Light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't think we really want to say this. Yeah. It talks about like we, you know, we need well, anyway. It sounded like they were sort of saying you should consider mm -hmm. building a bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't want a bridge. No. That's we don't want a bridge. Let's see. <laughs> this part of island living. <laughs> It is part of island living. It's kind of the definition. Right. It's issues and issues. We have to change our name to shelter them. Right. Okay. Bridge. <laughs> sorry. Did I say that? <laughs> shelter and its lack of direct vehicular connection to the east end is part of its attractiveness to residents and visitors alike, but it also presents constraints to residential quality of life. Limited availability of goods and services, such as emergency or specialized medical care, is a significant challenge to daily living. These issues are particularly important given the community's aging population. Um, you better off here in a month off if you get sick. Yeah, I was going to say, because we do have very rapid access. Yeah, it to takes it. longer to get to a hospital in New York City by ambulance than it does here. Yeah. So, you know, I'm kind of getting this just feeling. Kind of, it's just kind of came out of, no, I mean, I just didn't understand the purpose of this I, I kind of I don't know that it's an actual point that it's necessary I mean, one could argue that the availability of the internet has changed life here because all of a sudden you have access to things that you Dr. Google we can get <laughs> an or, and just buying stuff And you do address elsewhere or in this chapter the need to have services for yeah. to aging population. So you don't necessarily have to talk about it as a transportation issue. Yeah, so I kind of feel like we can take it out. Take it yeah, out. Okay, eliminate the light bulb. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. You're gonna miss yeah. the light bulb. <laughs> so if you go to goal nine dash six. Well, that's what I was gonna look at next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so it's just. 
put it in there to some extent. Maybe we just need to. What page is that on? Just page 162. 162. Okay. And that's kind of more expanding senior services. It's mm -hmm. also support. food insecurity. Mm -hmm. Mental mental and behavioral health. Yeah. I think the problem with this comment is that it's more focused, focused on, on access to access access access. transportation mm -hmm. instead yeah. of actual services being provided or mm -hmm. needs being met. Mm -hmm. In, in 9.6, um, Amber, if you go back to page 137, the key finding shelter is getting older and needs to ensure residents have access to resources and support mm -hmm. they need to thrive. You know, okay, it, so it kind of yeah. supporting that. Right. Okay. There's nothing really right. that says. This one is sort of a mix of access, transportation, and aging, and social. So it's it's an odd. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not making sense. So we'll just get rid of it. Yeah. Right. Get rid of the light bulb. You don't like living here, so stay. <laughs> We're not building the bridge. Nope. Not happening. All right. So one thirty-six. Okay, one thirty-seven. Um. Invest in better healthcare infrastructure. Are we talking about additional doctor, medical center, open full blown urgent care facility to vague? Uh, so, yeah. Vague. Mm -hmm. So, maybe instead of healthcare infrastructure, we we're thinking more senior services. Yeah. Yeah. Senior services, social services, yep. transportation options. Yep. When I talked to the seniors several times. Transportation was the only thing that they really were asking for. Because mm -hmm. they yeah. all get to doctors, they get taken there, delivered, and you know, I don't know where the sort of came from. I think some of it stemmed from the Health and Wellness Alliance kind of wanting to create more of like a health department on the island, but we don't really have the capacity to handle something like that. We sort of leave it to the professionals. Some kind of. I mean, maybe a more relevant question is, you know, is an additional doctor needed at the medical center? <laughs> you know. Yeah. But would the town be involved in getting that, soliciting it, or it's part of the lease agreements that we have? In terms of how many doctors are allowed, um, just the staffing levels. Like one has to be staffed five days a week, preferably six if they can, right. at least in the summer season. And the other one is <clears throat> three days a week open. So it it is built in the lease agreements because they use the town building. Oh. Okay. But if they weren't using the town building, then we wouldn't, then have, any we wouldn't have any control of <laughs> requiring so many days a week. But also, you know, it's a demand thing too. Do they have the demand to support mm -hmm. full time? Well, the one guy that's here is pretty busy. Yeah. yeah. The Stony Brook guy yeah. is pretty busy. Yeah. Not the Presbyterian Church. Right. <laughs> Page one forty. What yeah. what is that? What church is that? Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what. <laughs> I don't actually. I was gonna say I don't actually think it's yeah. shelter. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was in Cutshaws too. It's really, which is now a private home. Really Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, that would be worth getting a shot of the Presbyterian yeah. church. Yes. And the other churches, if they're not in here. Oh, yeah, here's St. Mary's well, chapels. The, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. we can, yeah. And I think we have pictures of Union, Union Chapel and, um, yeah. is that still there or they tear that down? No, that, that's well, the chapel. Yeah, the yeah, in here. yeah <laughs> that's just sad, isn't it? Need to change that too. Some bad memories. I know. Good yep. memories. Yeah. Uh, the next page, I have 145. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes. I'm just wondering if Gordon's Bay is going to mention as far as historic. Historic. We were founded in 1896. 1896. <laughs> All right. 
purple uh, eight. I should know this. <laughs> 1886. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Your cultural resources, is that what you're thinking? Well, I'm looking at it under the historical ones, and uh -huh. I thought some of them are registered. Right. I mean, registered site. Mm -hmm. I think these are designated historic sites Paper Cemetery, Quinnipet, the Country Club. Manhasset Chapel. So these were all the ones that were designated. And then uh, we listed. For locally significant and so mm -hmm. Yeah, the manor and it's designated. Yes, yeah, Sylvester Manor's in the list. Mm -hmm. So we can add it under others. What did he got there? Hey, the date you just gave, is that the one? The present club was organized, or was it? Because wasn't that part of the Hotel? Okay. At some point, it's been through five revisions. But the golf course the holes, some of them are still original. Oh, okay. 1896. Okay. Yeah. Country club? That's in here. That's in here. Yeah. Because it's, it's an officially designated yes. space, but those are... So they can go under other locally mm -hmm. significant. Okay, I've lost track. Where are we? Page yeah. 141. Uh, it goes from page 140. Yeah. It ends at page 141. So it's a list of all the registered historics. Mm -hmm. And then on page 141, there's other locally significant historic resources. Um, so in so there, we list to go in there. Yeah, we'll add Garner's Bay and the Yacht Club because it also lists, lists like the police station and Justice Hall as being mm -hmm. under building um, and some of the homes. So I'll add that in. One forty. Oh yeah. So that same day because that's no longer. Comment about Perlman that they teach things other than just string instruments. Mm -hmm. So we'll just say young musicians. Yep. Forty-seven. My comment there was um, post-COVID when the governor mandated that all meetings had to be ta um, take place in person under the New York State mm -hmm. Open Meetings Laws. To me, that represented a huge shift in volunteerism. <clears throat> People that were here during COVID, we took advantage of Zoom um i know just in finding new board members for the library we ran into you know the fact that people were not going to be here 12 mondays um a year and i'm sure other committees have run into that um i don't know if it's worth mentioning but i think it it had an impact on volunteerism in the past four years I mean, it may just be a moot point because of the open meetings law, but <clears throat> along with all the other things that we cite. Mm -hmm. Most of our committees, we are continuing the hybrid model and they do not need to, they, um, if they're advisory only and they don't, like they're not CBA or planning board, um, they have to have an in-person quorum. But our other committees, we are. But this committee had to have an because it's, it's created by a state um, state policy, yeah. state legislation. So things like um, the CAC that has a state mm -hmm. component to it, yeah. the comprehensive mm -hmm. plan has a state component to it. Um, WQI, the Water Quality mm -hmm. Improvement Advisory Board, has a state component because mm -hmm. it follows the Community yeah. Preservation Law. So uh, anything that's kind of a state organized, like the ZBA, the uh -huh. Planning Board, and those other committees 
have to have an in-person forum. But our other committees, like the Water Advisory Committee, the um, Deer and Tip Committee, the Community Housing, Community Board. Housing Board, anything that's mm -hmm. not doesn't have a state Your component, is an ad hoc, is flexible. Yeah. Yeah. They can do Zoom still. So, and just going back to the annual uh, annual community events on page. 46. I, I, yes. I know there's a lot already there, but I think we should put the Lions Club cleanup because that's an, an environmental endeavor and a lot of trash picked up on it. I think that should be on the list. Lions Club spring, spring cleanup. Spring cleanup. Has the Historical Society been doing the antique car show in the past few years? I don't think so, no. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that hasn't happened in a few years. So maybe we'll swap those out. have been introducing the play that they put on, mm -hmm. which is always some historical connection to the island. Yeah. It'll be the fourth year they've done that. Mm -hmm. Next note I have is page 153. Did anyone have something before page 153? A minor. Uh, page 150, looking at like police call data. Mm -hmm. It's been a few years since we started this process. Uh, police call data for the past five years, 2017 to 2021. Um, I mean, we have two full years we could add to that. So I don't know if we want to open that can of, that's that's an easy, in, yeah. that particular one is an easy update. It's an easy update. Um, or leave it as it is, but it's mm -hmm. published and 2024, 2025, that's really old. Or don't say the past five years. Just right. say between 2017 and 2021. You're not updated. Okay. Um, you know, the other thing that we're missing in here is under town governance, I guess. Do we see anything in here strongly about the recreation department? Um, that's in <laughs> like the rec committee. Yeah, shouldn't some of that be touched on under town governance? So that's a it's terribly young. Right, the whole rec department yeah. is kind of let's see. Yeah. Is there a specific part you? Well, I just don't see a head of four. Yeah, I don't know about the solid waste, you set us in the senior areas, some... highway, public safety, library, public schools. I don't see anything in here. If there was something because we, we touched so, on it and um, it says that there's an issue with the fit center. Yeah, yeah that's being right. at the school. Yeah, but we do other things other than that. You think that we should have some. Um, yeah. 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 Well, here on page 161, we talk about expand recreation department and library coordinating activities for seniors, children, and adolescents. Yeah, people I talk with better than middle age group, kind of group, they were disappointed with the recreation department. It's not enough to know. Yeah. Well, we definitely have goals and recommendations in here to expand the rec department and add more services. So it probably does need something under community resources yeah. then, a paragraph. Yeah. Yeah. Acknowledge it. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Two sentences on page 19. Nice. One so as that the right department offers a wide range of programming throughout the year, including sports and exercise classes, micro events, concerts for all ages. In addition, the department operates a public fit on the gym behind the school, and it has been noted that the presence of a public gym attached to the school poses logistical problems for school safety. 
So that's in the parks open space chapter. Yeah, parks yeah. open space. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, then there's one more on 161. There's a little tiny paragraph. It says expand recreation. Yeah, that's yeah. what I just read. Yeah. Yeah. So if that's a goal, then you should have it somewhere in here. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense. So under let's see. You could put it either after senior services and programs on 150. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, before public safety. Put it in there and add. I'll put these alpha. Let's see. No, they're not. So we'll add in a, a section about the recreation department. Should it go there or should it go? Yeah, that's good. We'll put it there. Under clean book. Okay. Good catch. And I guess to some extent, is it considered public health? Yeah, that's what I was wondering is if we should add it under public health or if we should add it under like the town resources or town, um, town, the town services. Because wasn't your point that it's under the town? Yeah, so it's in full section of staff. Yeah. So if we add it on page 150 before it goes into public safety. Town governance. Yeah, it should be in that section. Yeah. Okay. They close the skate park? Not officially. Yeah, Eastern Long Island Hospital is the. It is the most. Yeah, okay. It is the primary unless there's something that they feel it needs to go somewhere else. Okay. And then the next is. Can I just ask a silly question? Yeah. So it's Stony Brook Eastern Long Island Hospital, but then right below it's Eastern Long Island Hospital. Should you put Stony Brook in front of it just to be consistent? Yeah. Yes. Yep. The next note I have is page 161. Anyone have anything before that? John, it's just your it's your comment about sense of community. Yeah. It's not really a change, but right. we seem to have, I don't know if everybody's read what I wrote, but uh, we have this emphasis on volunteerism and these organizations will be all hold dear. They do provide our community, but a lot of the community is based on who we are and what we've been through together through thick or thin storms, hurricanes, whatever it may be, pandemic, brown tide, allergies. That's what has made Shelter Island. And that's how we identify ourselves as being islanders because we've done this together. And I'm afraid that my my concern is that we have always kind of taken care of our own issues, whether it's individually in your own backyard or if it's in the neighborhood or community. We've solved our problems with uh, uh, disruptive young people in schools. We have ways of helping them. We support people who have alcohol issues. We have organizations that deal with that. And we've done this together. We have a good track record of taking care of our issues. And likewise, when it comes to the environment, we also are been, we're good stewards of the environment for the most part. We don't take too many fish. We don't take too many clams. We 
take care of the land. We are educated about what we put on our land. Uh, we know about fertilizers. I mean, there's some people obviously don't. We know how that does affect our water supply or pesticides. But for the most part, we are good shepherds of this land. So my point is that since we all do that so well, if you start introducing something like a community sewage treatment facility district or a water supply district, now you've taken the onus for responsibility for your backyard, your land, your property away from the individual. And it's us individuals that makes this place work. So that means that then you'll have people who maybe are not aware, maybe come from elsewhere who are used to a sewage system or used to a water supply district, and they just don't have the concern about taking care of how much they're using, or they don't have the concern about what they're dumping in the yard or what they're flushing. And so then we end up just causing a greater pollution issue that cause more environmental problems because people are lost that connection to, wow, we're going to take care of this. It's ours. It's very special because it gives you a, just push the lever down, turn it on. It's just there. And I just, I'm just, just my a warning shot across the bow. I mean, I'm an old fart and it's, you know, my days are not long for short, well, I don't know. but you know, it just, you know, it just, I mean, it just is something that concerns me is about where we are going that we're going to lose our sense of community because I, of that. I understand what you're saying. I, I think a lot of it comes back to education too, because a lot of people who move here are used to having public water or public sewer. So they continue to behave as if they have public water and public sewer, even when they don't. So I think that's something that, you know, education needs to kind of work. Which we have well established. You know, I've just been concerned about us moving towards mm -hmm. specifically the water districts and the switch. I mean, I understand the district the districtization of it right. as a political and necessary thing for helping protect and save. But I just wonder about how it's going to affect us long term. So that's my soapbox, a little thing for the day. It's a great paragraph. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. It's just Um, the next comment was in chapter 10, page 171. Did anyone have anything before that? Did you read the talk about the fire department? Um, that was, uh, we were just there. Um, 161 talks about volunteerism, the ambulance, the fire department. Something like that. We talked about the number of firemen. Um, yeah, <clears throat> it's there. I know we talked about that firemen in place too. I think. Yeah. Didn't we? Um, Good my work staffing. Yeah. Um, that was the last bullet of remote volunteers. Right. It's part of the same what, page one sixty one. Mm -hmm. There it is. Sure that the PDFD EMS staff is sufficient and develop a long-term plan or strategy to manage possible to get Right. Um, yeah. Read that I, I some, one of the comments on somewhere it says that we had 64 firemen. Yeah. So the yeah, issue... I can say that. It says there are, are about 64 volunteer firefighters on Shelter Island that operate a combined 14 pieces of firefighting equipment. It doesn't mean that. Um, page 151. Sorry. Yeah. So it's not everybody they, can. Are they can potato guys or are they active farm? It's a combination. combination. It, it, includes, combination. it includes the steak and potato guys. It includes, well, yeah. It's a full sense of security there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the guy that may be coming to get you out of the burning house is to off his couch and solve all the green. That's the reality. I mean, Gilbert, you might know this. Do they have a breakdown of where people are certified to work in a fire situation? Yeah, there's firefighter one, firefighter two. So, so we might be able to get a little bit exterior, better breakdown yeah. of how very, many, very low number. how yeah. many are actually allowed to work in an interior fire, how many are actually mm -hmm. allowed to go on a road, Probably how many, which is why it might be important to put that in. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll try to get that yeah. break. Because that brings on the urgency of getting 
right? The younger people up to par and trained to do this. Right. You know, it goes hand in hand with housing and everything else that we have. Good point, Jay. That information. Um, all right. Anything else before page 171? And then the comment on page 171 is in the second paragraph, the very last sentence. We just need to add causing flooding at the end of it, where it says maintenance of maintenance of catch basins can be a challenge. Runoff that previously collected in low points along 114 is diverted into the street due to curbing and causing flooding. Maybe potentially causing flooding, something like that doesn't yeah. work all the time, but should be potentially. And then the next comment I have is on page 182 in chapter 11. My comment? Yes. It was just a, an idea I have. I don't know this worked well. It's just something that you know, I'm, I'm old school guy. I mean, the idea where you're passing documents around, you have a cover page that goes on top of it, which is a reminder. And so the whole idea behind this is that you have uh, this reminder of a comp plan form, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. would be stapled attached to. So this would be any committee bring legislation to the board. Any board member who's going to propose legislation would have this form filled out on the top, saying how this plan, this legislation meets the comprehensive plan. What are you know? Where does it state so the cha chapter page number? recommendation, the goal, the type of action, the responsible party and partners. It's just a reminder to keep it more in the forefront of the people who are making these decisions that we do have a comprehensive plan, number one, because it's been forgotten for the last 40 years that we even have one at times, and help them remember what these points are and maybe look at the goals once in a while when they're trying to fill it out. I'm sure a clerk will probably do it, but I, you know, anyway, it just is one more yeah. demonic, if you will, to keep this in mm -hmm. people's minds. I wonder if there's a template out there you think, yeah. that either yeah, I think it'd be pretty simple communities or even it. institutions use to do that because you're right. You'd mentioned this at a meeting yeah. earlier, I remember. And it could be an electronic cover sheet too, whatever it would be, just something would be filled out and something you could refer to. And I think it would also help, you know, someone who's sitting there making decisions to go back and let's read the language of that. What does it say again? Mm -hmm. You know. Does this really meet that need? Oh, it doesn't. You know, so if you have an action language. plan chart, then you can check off at, or you can indicate in there what this right. legislation was or the date it was right. proposed or something along that line. So you can update your implementation as you're, as you're going along. Hopefully. Who mechanically does that for the town? Who, who's going to do this? Who's going to maintain this? It's the board's job. So the town board's the administrative assistant. The, yeah. yeah. So it would be the administrative mm -hmm. assistant would keep track of what aspect of the common mm -hmm. plan is being addressed through whatever legislation or policy is being made. Mm -hmm. So the board should be aware of the document. They should understand what's in it so that they know that they're working within the recommended guidelines. Yeah, it can be something like the ZBA uses mm -hmm. when they're evaluating things. Yeah, the ZBA has a checklist, yeah. so you kind of create a checklist mm -hmm. that goes through um, and asks the <laughs> That is the last comment I have. Is, is, does anybody have anything additional that you need to look at? So with all that, um, so the, there's a few um, also just like typo stuff that I noted that I would send to Noah. So um, I send all these additions, corrections, modifications to him. And then um, do people feel comfortable forwarding this document to the town board? That's the next question. Are we ready to send it on with these modifications? Because then it can go before the public yeah. for a much more extensive review and comment from that they get their voice. So it's probably better to get it out sooner than later. 
So the process would be that we would vote now to give you permission to forward all of these, our discussion tonight, to Noah. He creates a document. It then goes to the town board. We are then done as a committee. Correct. And then it moves on, and it's in Amber and yours hands to move forward with the public. Yep. And then if we have comments as the public, we could then make those and do whatever and be part of that process yes. at that point. And in those next steps, the public will then have an opportunity during whatever um, public hearings you set. It will also then go to um, the our zoning board and Suffolk County planning yep. to have to be reviewed yep. and go through all of those other steps. It will also go through a CECRA. Okay. Okay. Just trying to say all that out loud. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's out there. And, um, and it goes to the um, county concurrent with the town board? Um, it can, but I think we'll do... Yeah, I think we want to have it go to the town board. Like, my thinking is that it's going to, once it comes back from the consultants in, the, you know, the latest, you know, draft, we will distribute it to the town board and the public so that everyone has, and then a month to take a look at it. And then the town board will go chapter by chapter mm -hmm. each week at a work session, the town board. So if there's any changes that the town board makes, I'd like to see those incorporated before it goes to the planning commission because the town board may say, no, we want to tweak this or do that, which could impact what the planning commission would do, the planning, Suffolk County planning. And when the town board is reviewing each chapter each week, the public that's at the Tuesday work sessions mm -hmm. and the public can come in and comment? No. no, no, because there is going to be public hearings. So this is just for the board. If people have comments, they can send in written comments, they can talk to individual board members, but we're not going to turn each work session into a public hearing because there will be multiple public hearings. We've already done that here. Right. Um, one comment oh, I... a friend of mine um, mentioned was that um, it would be incredibly useful to have a box holder notice go out that says the latest draft of the comprehensive plan is available on the town website. Mm -hmm. um, so it really tries to, you know, yes, the reporter will say something, um, but they thought that, you know, really putting it out there in the, um, in the mail would be a, yeah. a useful tool. Okay. So are the public commenting upon the plan along with the board working through each chapter or after the board has finished? And it's gone to the planning committee. Gotcha. Yeah. So I mean, so the they see the the kind of final final version, mm -hmm. and then they weigh in with right. their yes reactions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and I'm sure yeah. the people will you know continue to send letters, comments, you know, have meetings with um, individual board members. It's just in order to manage this process. So I just, just get it, understand it myself. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, it, it just needs to be done in an orderly fashion. And we're not rushing um, the idea to try and get it done by the end of September so that we might be eligible for funding to implement the plan by doing a um, zoning, you know, code rewrite, things like that. Um, it's just going to have to wait another year. So we, we are not rushing to get this done. And so if it goes to public, you know, a couple of public hearings, and then we need to redo pieces of it, and then it goes back for public hearing after the rewrites, there'll be plenty of time for public input. And there's been plenty of public input so far mm -hmm. in this process. Okay. Do you guys feel comfortable taking a vote on moving this forward to the board? So kind of motion. I was gonna say, <laughs> all right. John's making a motion to I'll send this board. revision. Board. Like roll. Okay. With the, with the you can move him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can you yeah. can remove him from the Zoom. Yeah, he continues to disrupt. All right. So we have a motion. We have a second to the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This, this was like a working session anyway, right? Yes, As opposed a to session. a public, so mm -hmm. because other our previous meetings yeah. have been with public commentary, so it's just people might yeah. not know that. And I voted so yes. You all are in agreement. 
Yes, so we had a, a unanimous vote to move this version with the additions we just made to the town board. No old business, no new business. No old business, no new business. I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Have a lovely evening, everybody.